Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Jace Tutorials. So for this video we are going to export our time lapse from our GoPro Fusion 360 to our computer. Here are some photos I took with my phone of these settings. So night time lapse, everything's pretty much on auto, ProTune is turned on. That's the battery life, I started off at 94%. So first step, we got to turn on our computer. Sorry, for the beginning part, I recorded with my phone vertically. Um, my bad. And then now, once the computer's booted up, we are going to plug in the USB to the computer. So this cord came with the GoPro. And then the other side, the other end of the cable is the USB-C. We plug it into our GoPro Fusion. It's going to look like that. Alright, now that's good. We hold on to the mode button and we turn on the GoPro Fusion. Next, click Browse Media. It's going to prepare the media. Should open it up. Okay, finally. Yeah, once we're in, so we select the media that we want to export. So it shows the time and everything too, so that's what's great about the software. So let's pick this one. Alright, so I'm just gonna, oh yeah, by the way, I want to show you guys, you can actually um, adjust the trim. Here is, if you wanted to adjust the starting point of the 360 view. You got your yaw pitch roll. So I'm going to add it to the render queue. I'm going to pick these settings right here. I want it to be that. And then let's pick another clip. But this time, let me do a couple, let me trim the, um, you can trim. What I don't like about the software is you can you can only trim the uh, the beginning and, and the end. You can't like split clips, which uh, kind of led me to get some uh, 360 degree software for editing, you know. And then add that to the render queue. And then when you're ready, you just render all. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys, if you go to the preferences here, edit preferences it'll show you your output folder so your import and your output folder very important when you're setting up your uh, GoPro Fusion um, I try to keep things usually in the desktop if I can it uh, helps a lot you know I'm not very good at finding things so now the time-lapse is rendering All right, now that it's complete, you can clear it all. You don't have to, or um, you can actually just click the folder here, the output folder, if you want to, so that you can go straight to your files. Much easier that way. So here's where I save my files. You got your two time lapses right there. So one thing to keep in mind, especially Windows 10, you want to right click and open up your 360 video in the GoPro VR player. You know, unless uh, you have other software that opens up 360 videos. Um, you know, definitely want something uh, that can play it back. So I right click VR player and here is a time lapse. Here's the time lapse I recorded. So let me open up this other one here just to show you guys. It is really fast. It might have not have been a good idea to do the auto um, setting on, uh, on the time lapse that I did. But either way, footage ain't too bad. 
here is it I'm gonna move the camera around so you can see me right there all the stuff going on so the time lapse is super super duper quick um, but yeah that's pretty much all I got thank you for watching take it easy